in 1967 when a 25-year-old Paul McCartney sang about losing his hair and renting a cottage on the Isle of Wight in When I'm 64, he could have had no idea that the song would come back to haunt him nearly 40 years later, having become the most successful composer and musician in the history of popular music. After breaking every sales record in the book during his tenure with the Beatles in the 60s, his first solo album, McCartney, became a number one hit and spawned the ballad, Maybe I'm Amazed. Since then, his catalogue of albums, which includes several releases with his 70s band Wings, has been met with varied reception from critics and audiences. Some of his major hits have included Mull of Kintyre, Coming Up, With a Little Luck and Silly Love Songs. In more recent years, his phenomenal musical output, which has included writing orchestral music, has been largely overshadowed by events in his private life. In 1998, the British public joined him in mourning the death of his wife of nearly 30 years. Linda McCartney had become a household name in her own right for her success as a photographer and her commitment to animal activism. Less than two years later, his fans were stunned to see him flaunting his new relationship with anti-landmine campaigner Heather Mills, whom he married in 2002. Their acrimonious split four years later sparked an even greater media feeding frenzy. But throughout it all, Paul kept pumping out the music. To just have nothing, be sitting here, pick up your guitar, and then after an hour or two, you suddenly you've got like you've got a song that and some people if it works gonna go I love that one or whatever you know and it's like wow yes it's like baking a great cake or something ironically while the press and British public were wrapped up in the miniature of his private life Paul had been getting down to the business of creating another album with the help of producer Nigel Godrich, famous for his work with Radiohead and Beck I think for Paul I really you know, I think he deserves some respect that maybe he hasn't got in recent history and I would like to see him have that. Chaos and Creation in the Backyard ended up being pronounced Paul's best album since leaving the Beatles. The following year, his devoted fans queued up overnight to meet their hero and score signed copies of his latest classic release, Eke Cormium, and a new live concert DVD. We queued last night like at 5.30 and um, slept out at Piccadilly Circus overnight and get to meet Paul today and it's totally worth it. It's a little chilly, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> and as far as Paul is concerned, he'll keep going until he's 94. I'll do it as long as they like it and I like it. <laughs>